Hello, my name is Emilia Balba Beltrán. I'm a PhD student in the Genomic Medicine Group at the University of Santiago de Compostela in Spain. I'm grateful of having the opportunity to discuss our forthcoming article in Mayo Clinical Proceedings entitled Lung Survival and Severe Toxicity Under 5 for Acid Based Therapy in a patient with colorectal cancer who harbors a genline codon stop mutation in team. This study was performed at the Galician Public Foundation of Genomic Medicine in collaboration with Dr. Maria Jesus Lamas and the PhD student Goretti Duran from the Hospital Pharmacy Service and under the direction of Dr. Francisco Barros and the Professor Angel Carracedo. In the study, we report the first clinical description of a patient with cancer who harbored a heterozygous genline codon stop mutation in the thymidylate synthase gene. This mutation causes loss of function of one of the alleles resulting in a truncated protein. This thing encodes for an essential enzyme in the novel synthesis of pyramidines, which is crucial for genome stability. Cells depend ultimately on this enzyme to maintain the thymidine triphosphate pulse for DNA replication. A decrease in the thymidylate produces an imbalance in the adenosine triphosphate thymidine triphosphate ratio and increases uracil misincorporation into the DNA, which leads to cytotoxicity. Pharmacological induction of this state is asserted by 5 fluoracil that as known is the basic treatment in many cancers, among them the colorectal cancer. The case we describe here is a patient with colorectal cancer being treated with 5 fluoracil and harboring the previously mentioned genline codon stop mutation in the thymidylase synthase gene, which encodes for the main pharmacological target of 5 fluoracil. These patients suffer from toxicities under all of the 5 fluoracil based treatment administered, leading to dose reduction and treatment discontinuation, but still experiencing similar or higher response than most of the patients treated similarly. Until now, research has focused on the study of the 5' prime and 3' prime untranslated region of this gene. However, mutations in the coding region will explain a percentage of patients with toxicities and their identification will help drug management. This finding was suspected since deficiency of one of the thymidylate synthase alleles are to the inhibitory activity of this protein by 5 for acid, but it's not worth it this patient exceed by more than 50% the average survival after a metastasectomy. While other genetic alterations can be responsible for this event, we think it's interesting to explore the possibility of this mutation as the causative. New glutide deficit causes DNA damage that activates mechanisms of cell arrest or senescence. Thymidylate synthase expression decrease is one of the alterations found in senescence. In fact, inhibition of this protein has been found to induce senescence. Moreover, the essential mechanisms of the cytostatic effect of the alpha difluoromethylornithina, a chemiopreventive agent, is by reducing the thymidine pulse. But at some point, cells overcome senescence and underwent carcinogenic transformation. Nucleotide metabolism has a dual function. A study shows that thymidine synthase exhibits oncogen-like activity. Topic expression of the catalytic active protein is sufficient to transform mammalian cells. But also, the nucleotide deficit fostered genomic instability at the beginning of cancer. So based on the patient's clinical data and the key role of the thymidylase synthase in 5 for acyl activity, we hypothesize this mutation may contribute to the drug response and toxicities suffered by the patient and maybe to the observed survival. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoy reading the paper. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.